Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking in on our webinar. I'm David Marandino, Field Technical Sales Rep for Bosch Automotive Service Solutions. We're here tonight to talk to you about the new diagnostic platform from Bosch, the Easy Truck Platform. Uh, the Easy Truck Platform consists of a couple of components a VCI for wired or wireless communication, 6 pin, 9 pin, and 16 pin cables for various applications, a semi ruggedized tablet running a Windows 7 operating system, a touch screen. And the heart of it all is the EasyTronic software developed by Bosch. We're going to go through some simple functionality on the tool, show you some coverage items you have available to you, and then we're going to hook live to a few trucks to show you the tool in action. Let's jump into what the tool can actually do for you. Starting with the menu screen, you see a pretty simple graphic interface. It's designed for both expert users and people new to the industry. Uh, to show you some of the coverage, let's start by hitting the heavy duty trucks button. It'll show you a good list of what's available on the tool. Uh, you can see a wide variety of trucks are available on the heavy duty side. If we back up, we can go into the medium duty trucks and get an entirely different list. Uh, just by taking a quick look, you can see the broad coverage that this tool offers you. We also have the ability to go into a powertrain controllers button which will let us list detailed controllers that are available. Notice here that in addition to engine, we can do things like transmissions also. So this is going to be a full vehicle coverage unit for you. Heck, we'll even do trailers. If you jump into the trailer button, you'll get things like trailer anti-lock brakes and even the ability to do some reefer units. Now let's jump into the good stuff. We're going to hook the RP1210 compliant VCI up to the truck this one happens to be a nine pin connector. Connecting the tool is simple. Select the proper cable, in this case a nine pin, connect it to your VCI, plug it into the truck and ensure that you have power. Turn the key on. The tablet connects to the VCI by way of Bluetooth. Uh, now we have to identify the vehicle Bosch makes that simple by use of the connect and scan button in the center of the screen. Anytime you're using a six or a nine pin application, simply plug the VCI into the truck, come back to the tablet and hit your connect and scan button. The software will do the rest for you. It's going to go to the truck and find a VCI. It's going to start communicating with the truck to find out what software protocols are available. This truck, a 2009 Peterbilt, has four modules the software was able to identify positively each one. We have an anti-lock brake module, an electronic body control module, an engine module featuring a Cummins ISX engine, and an engine brake controller. From this point, we have some options. If we hit the read faults button on top, we have the, the ability to scan the entire vehicle for trouble codes and put that report on one printable page. We also have the ability to pull up system information on this vehicle. Remember, this is not just a scan tool. This is a diagnostic platform. So we're going to give you things like the ability to pull codes with a DLC lookup. We can also pull in technical data and wiring diagrams that we'll cover in a little while. We also have VIN information. When this scan was done, it actually pulled a VIN code out of the controller and will give you back a report the when and where's of when this truck was built. If we hit the continue button now after selecting a controller, we're going to get into the scan tool functionality of the vehicle. Right now, the, the DCU100, the tablet, is going to send information to our VCI with simple instructions on how to do a Cummins ISX scan. Uh, one of the great features of this platform is the ability to change that VCI into whatever we need it to be on the fly. So from one platform, we can quickly go from scanning an ABS system to scanning an engine without having to switch modules, cables, or tablets. Once the VCI receives the instructions on how to scan the engine, it gives us the basic list of operations available. Let's start with something simple like reading a trouble code. Hit read faults and hit continue. It's going to go out and scan this engine, in this case, for trouble codes. It'll do active and inactive codes in the same suite and give us a report back on the screen. 
This particular vehicle has some inactive fault. Most scans will stop right here. Again, going back to the fact that this is a diagnostic platform, I have the ability to take it a step further. Let's look up this EGR code. The EGR gas temperature sensor voltage is too high. What now? Simply hit the troubleshooting button and we'll pull up a full diagnostic process for that code. Select on top your step-by-step -step process and you'll see things like component locations, a link to the wiring diagram, and even some sensor specs available to you. Having this level of information on tool helps you simplify your diagnostic process. Let's take a look at a couple other functions. Back to our main screen, we can also clear inactive trouble codes and we can look at live data through our actual values list. When we bring this list up, you're gonna see a couple of, of groupings on the side to help pare down your data list. On newer trucks, you're gonna get a really large data list. Uh, what, the truck, or what the tool is doing right now is reaching out to the truck to see what can be displayed. Let's do a quick test on the accelerator pedal sensor. Select the accelerator pedal sensor, hit continue, We'll get a display up on the screen. When I pump the accelerator pedal, you should be able to see the sensor react on the screen. We can look at it as a number PID like we just did, or if we hit the time profile button, we can look at it graphically also. Let's watch. It's a simple test, but it does show the speed and accuracy of the tool. All the data PIDs will react the same way. We can select whichever ones we want off of the screen. Now, what I've shown you at this point uh, can be done by many other scan tools on the market. But what I'm going to show you now should show you some true strength in this tool. When we go to actuators on the screen, we're going to bring a list up of some of the bi-directional controls that are available. A big one right off the top is cylinder deactivation. Select cylinder deactivation and hit continue. It'll give us test conditions that have to be met. Hit continue again and it'll bring up our function control screen. If we had the engine running right now, we'd have the ability to kill cylinders. Graphically on the screen, it's as simple as hitting previous or next to pick which cylinder you want and then in hitting on or off to turn that cylinder on or off. We can walk through each cylinder and manually kill them one at a time to test for an engine miss. A couple other key tests were available there. Cylinder output is a test we run on this Cummins engine that actually measures the relative strength of each cylinder. If you're not sure how that test works, you'll see an info button on the bottom of the screen. Hit the info button and you'll get a breakdown of exactly what the tool is going to do on this engine, step by step. Key line here is this test helps to identify weak cylinders. So it does lead you through the process without having to become an expert on every tool and every module. We also have fan activation and a compression test which are other helpful tests on this engine. If we step into the special function selection, we'll get a whole nother list of bi-directional controls up. Note on this engine, we actually have the ability to change things like road speeds and other key parameters. We also have some after treatment fuel system tests. By now you're beginning to see the full power and capability of this tool and its ease of use. Let me show you one more big group under adjustments and settings. When we select that, we show you that you have full service capability for diesel particulate filter systems, including a forced regen. We also have the ability to do a variable geometry turbocharger relearn on this system. I've shown you some of the capabilities of the scan tool, but remember I told you that this is a full diagnostic platform Let's take a closer look at some of that diagnostic information. 
You see in the middle of the screen a toggle button? Select that and it brings up a small menu. We'll go into the wiring diagrams for this engine. The wiring diagrams are unique. We can pull up a full circuit diagram for this. Uh, when I say they're unique, they're actually interactive wiring diagrams. Bring the uh, diagram up on the screen and select an item. On top, you'll see that it tells us that's our variable geometry turbine VGT actuator. Need to know where that is? No problem. Hit the continue button on the bottom of the screen and you'll get a component location for that specific turbo component. Here's your turbo, there's what the sensor looks like, pointing right there on the engine. Very simple, easy to follow. Back up and select a different item. You'll see them pop across the top that we have different sensors. Hit the continue button, it does the same thing. No more guessing, no more looking around the engine, no more calling your buddy at the other shop. These diagrams are also searchable. See an arrow on the side and pull that out. You can go through and select an item over here. It'll take you to the correct part of the wiring diagram and locate that for you right on top. So you get some interaction with these wiring diagrams that, that helps you diagnose vehicles faster, which is the key to this tool. Additionally, we can bring up some technical data. We'll get a list of different systems that are available. We talked earlier about an EGR sensor. Let's go take a look and see what information is available for that. Our exhaust gas recirculation system shows us a full color overview of how that system works. So we have the ability now not only to pull the trouble code, not only to look at data, not only to turn stuff on and off, but to get some conclusive explanation of how these systems work. Our focus so far has been on the Cummins engine in this Peterbilt truck. We have full vehicle capabilities though. Let's back up to the home screen and take a look at the anti-lock brake system. This truck has a Bendix anti-lock brake system on it. Let's take a look at that system. The VCI will load with software so we can scan the ABS system. Again, no need to switch modules, cables, or laptops. We get a similar list to what we had on the engine side. We can read and clear trouble codes, look at live data, and perform some bi-directional tests. Let's read some codes. Again, active and inactive in one sweep, all on a printable report. We do have some faults on this also. By selecting one of those codes and hitting our troubleshooting button, we'll bring up a full troubleshooting chart for that code. Select the appropriate FMI code to bring up troubleshooting. In this case, we get shortcuts to the wiring diagram, connector views, component views, and some simplified diagnostics at the bottom. We even get a few component locations. We've shown you some great functions for technicians, but let me show you a couple things for fleet managers and service managers. We've added an all systems DTC scan that will scan the entire truck for trouble codes. Simply select read faults on top and you'll get a report up of all the trouble codes on this vehicle. Note how our screen has changed. We see each individual module now, but additionally we see all the trouble codes on that module listed out. Note also active and inactive faults are reporting. You may have noticed the store button on the bottom right hand side of the screen. This is a great tool. If we hit the store button, it saves the screen data to a report that is retrievable. Simply go up to the main menu, find saved reports. It'll bring up a list of all the trucks that you've saved reports to. Pick the truck that you're working on, hit our print preview button and the tool will start to develop a report. Because we're using a Windows operating system, it's simple to hook this to any Windows pr printer and print this report out to help your sales channel work. Here's our report. Date and time stamp, the ability to edit customer information, a full list of all the trouble codes that we pulled, even a spot on the second page to add comments.
We've shown you how the ESI truck tool works on a Peterbilt with a Cummins engine. We'll pull in another truck and show you how it works on a few other systems.